India's private sector firm Kinetics Engineering Solutions Limited and UK-based company Marx Aviation have announced that they have started development of an air superiority stealth loyal wingman known as Eklavia, that will have a maximum speed of 1,050 km per hour, range of 3,800 km, a service ceiling of 45,000 feet and will feature manned-unmanned teaming architecture, artificial intelligence-based swarming capability and air-to-air -air refueling. It will carry a wide variety of payloads like sensors EW systems countermeasures and air-to-ground missiles. They have also announced the development of a medium-altitude long-endurance drone known as Maya, that will have a cruise speed of 265 km per hour, endurance of 32 hours, service ceiling of 33,000 feet, satellite communication range of more than 5,000 km, and can carry a maximum payload of 1,000 kg comprising of communications and electronic intelligence sensors, electro-optical infrared and thermal sensors, laser range finder, synthetic aperture radar and maritime patrol radar system. The Defense Ministry has placed a repeat order for 4,960 Milan 2 T anti-tank guided missiles for the Indian Army at a cost of 1,188 crore rupees, and its delivery will be completed by 2024. The Milan 2 T has a range of 1.85 kilometers and can be operated from ground as well as vehicle-based launchers, and will be produced by Bharat Dynamics under license from French firm MBDA. Boeing has made a very strong pitch for its F-15EX fighter jet to the Indian Air Force with the 200 km range AIM-260 Joint Advanced Tactical Missile, along with a written assurance by the US government, that any higher AMRAM missile variant will not be provided to Pakistan's F-16. The AIM-260 runs on a higher energy propellant as compared to previous generation missiles and exceeds the performance of the Meteor missile equipped on the Rafale fighter jet. The US has also offered the Shield laser system with the F-15EX weapons package, along with the latest Eagle passive active warning and survivability system with advanced electronic warfare technology, and the fourth generation APG 82 v one radar that can simultaneously detect, identify and track multiple air and surface targets at more than 250 km and around 400 km in queued search. Hindustan Aeronautics has announced that the last Su-30 aircraft has rolled out of the Nasik assembly line, and the company has now proposed to build 12 additional Su-30 with the Super Shukhoi upgrade kits developed by DRDO and Hindustan Aeronautics. The first two Su-30 aircraft will be used as technology demonstrators to integrate and test the indigenous radar system avionics and air-to-air -air missiles under the Super Shukhoi program, that will be followed with Super Shukhoi upgrade of remaining 200 fighters. Meanwhile, Russia has announced that it will unite Shukhoi with United Aircraft Corporation and MiG Corporation into a single corporate aircraft building center for a better management of aircraft programs, and a joint program for a sixth-generation fighter jet. The Ordnance Factory Medoc has announced that it will soon roll out a new mine-proof futuristic infantry combat vehicle with 360-degree night vision capability, and will also be equipped with instant fire detection and suppression system. The Ordnance Factory Medoc is also developing a prototype for wheeled armored fighting vehicles, that will also be rolled out very soon. The Ordnance Factory will also start overhauling BMP-2 vehicles of the Indian Army at more than 100 units per year. The 4th FOC standard Tejas fighter jet SP-24 has conducted its first flight yesterday, that will soon be followed with the first flight of SP-25 and SP-26 early next month. The Indian Air Force has already received the SP-21 and SP-22, and with the current timeline, the Air Force is expected to receive five FOC fighters SP-23 to SP-27 by the end of next month taking the total strength of FOC standard fighters to 7.